Hello comrades, I am in Warsaw and I will show you the place which is very important for the history of the Polish Socialist Revolutionary Movement, Russian Revolutionary Movement. I can also say that it is important for the history of all revolutionary movement in the world. So I am in Warsaw in the Plac Grzybowski. Plac Grzybowski we can translate it like a, a square of the mushrooms. And now I will explain you, explain you why it is important. So there is the Palace Kultury i Nauki and it was my place where I make this video. It is, it is Plac Grzybowski and the important thing was happened here in 1904. Uh, so in this stone I will read you information from this stone. So in this place in uh, 13 November 1904 was the first first demonstration uh, militant demonstration of the workers organized by the Polish Socialist Party um, and um, so this demonstration was organized uh, because of the same reason why the workers in Russia were um, uh, also uh, they demonstrated in, in Russia because of war with Japan and because of the economic crisis which was in, in Russia uh, so so uh, there were a uh, movement of strikes in Poland, in, in Russia, uh, and Poles also didn't want it to be, uh, to be um, sent to Japan in, in Russian army to fight, to fight against the Japanese soldiers. So uh, this demonstration was taking place in 13 November 1904. And uh, when the, when this demonstration this demonstration was starting in this church, so the people are assembling in this church, and after they starting to go out from this church. And when the demonstration is started, the the tsarist uh, the tsarist soldiers, especially Cossacks, they started to attack the workers. Uh, uh, workers demonstration and uh, it was a bit big su surprised because the the uh, milita militants from the Polish Socialist Party they were armed armed they have guns and they started to to shoot the to the Cossacks they killed many Cossacks and uh, it was historic uh, it was historic event in the history of Poland so of course after the tsarist uh, regime uh, started to uh, to make a big vengeance against against Poles they arrested many people killed also uh, but uh, if you want to understand the the, uh, the 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 activity of the tsarist regime in the time of bloody sunday bloody sunday in petersburg which was taking place 2 months later why this tsarist, uh, 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 this tsarist uh, Cossacks was so angry, so aggressive, why they killed thousands of people? It is because um, uh, uh, before this Bloody Sunday, workers starting to be armed. And uh, this is one of the few examples uh, from, from Warsaw where, where the police who started att attacked workers uh, they saw that workers can uh, answer for the for the violence, and they also for the violence of the state, they can answer of the violence of the working working class. So of course the movement which is which was which was here in Poland have a lot of common with all the workers movement in Russia, because the workers fight for the for the better wages, better condition. Of, of working and also the Socialist Party wanted to, to destroy the capitalist system but uh, the difference between uh, demonstration in Russia and the demonstration here in, in Warsaw was also the national question that Poland, Polish people wanted to stop the Russification 
because the, in, the, uh, in the schools in, the, in Poland they teach Russian language, in Russian, not in, in Polish. So also the, the, this demonstration organized by PPS was demonstration for the economic questions. It was pacific demonstration, people don't want to participate in war, but also is a patriotic question that we, we don't want to russification. So this, uh, this stone is a very history event, very important for the history of the workers' movement because this demonstration inspired the Marxist theoretic in all over the world. But as you see, today it's difficult to find this. Nobody cares about this. So this is a problem of the modern Poland that nobody cares about the history of the revolutionary workers' movement.